bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown in. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. Yeah. Mr. Robe. God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh -huh. a German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah. the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. Is very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is he? Oh, oh, no. No. Nye, nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Ah. God damn it! You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! You stream I'm Shiwi! Just sign! Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! have money, but, but I have this. It's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Must have come here with some. Uh, very valuable, good. Not good yet. Don't even speak English. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes. Nie rób tego! I need, I must eat, proszę! 
Okay, that should about cover things. Richard Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yep. Taking your teeth as well. I knew I shouldn't have borrowed. It always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved... I Lily, where's our money? What? 
That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening. Damn man! Son of a bitch! <laughs> You know what I'd do to thieves? Law here about this. I didn't steal that, it's a debt. Damn it. Damn it, man, have some peace. Damn it. Stop! Don't do this! You need to wise up, mister. No! Please, no! Okay. You better have heard me. I don't believe. Right now. Uh, watch this picks from my fob, sir. I'll never get drunk. Miss Grimshaw, things to do, Miss Jackson. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hey, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know.
Oh, Mr. Downs! Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Uh... <laughs> that debt weighs on me heavily. It's going to be paid. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. <laughs> Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please show some compassion. Please. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. <gasps> yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. I travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. Oh, God! Watch it. Well, I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I, I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... Odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now just a little further that's some kind of joke out Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. 